Squirt Dip. You can save your layout as a PDF from any Adobe Design program, and anyone with a free Acrobat Reader will be able to view it. PDFs are self-contained, so they won't need the original images nor the fonts, and yet they'll be able to see your design exactly as you created it. Hello, creative! It's your graphics girl of graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S. Girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here with a quick tip to help you design your brand. But first, would you like a free cheat sheet? Okay. Head over to graphicsgirl.com to download your free InDesign cheat sheet that will show you all the shortcuts in the program. Just click the link below. So here's how you save a PDF from InDesign. Unlike Photoshop and Illustrator, where you come to File, Save As, in InDesign, you'll have to come down to Export. And from the Export dialog box, under the Format dropdown, you'll choose Adobe PDF. There are two. There are Adobe PDF Interactive and Adobe PDF Print. Unless your PDF is going to have animation or interactivity, you'll want to choose Adobe PDF Print. When you click Save, generally speaking, it will save it with the same name as your InDesign file in the same location. Here, I already have one, so I'll go ahead and replace over it. In the Export Adobe PDF dialog box now, you have the option from the Adobe PDF presets to choose High Quality Print, PDF X1A, 3 and 4, Press Quality, or Smallest File Size. I'll go over each one of these. For now, I'm going to choose Smallest File Size. So Smallest File Size creates PDF files for displaying on screen, such as on a website, or for distribution through email. This option uses compression that downsamples to a relatively low resolution, here between 100 and 150 ppi, or pixels per inch. It converts all colors to RGB and doesn't embed fonts. This choice generally wouldn't need printer marks such as crops and bleed because it could be downloaded from a website and printed on a normal office printer. You would not choose smallest file size to hand over to your printer for professional printing. But what if you wanted to create a PDF to hand over for your printer? Then you would choose high quality print. The high quality print setting creates PDFs for professional printing. This preset keeps color and grayscale images high resolution at 300 pixels per inch and monochrome images at 1200 ppi. It also embeds subsets of all fonts, leaves color unchanged, and doesn't flatten transparency. It's worth noting that under the presets, in addition to high quality print, there's another one that's good for commercial printing, and that is press quality. In fact, if you read the description on both of these, you'll see that they are identical. So the press quality setting creates files for high quality print production. The objective is to maintain all of the information in a PDF that the commercial printer or print service requires, such as high resolution for color and grayscale images, again, at 300 DPI or PPI. Sometimes PPI is referred to DPI because pixels turn to dots of ink when they're printed. And for monochrome images, again, it's 1200 PPI. So, just like the high quality print setting, it also embeds subsets of all fonts and preserves transparency. So the main takeaway is before creating any PDF to send to a commercial printer, 
Find out what output resolution and other settings are required. Just ask. Even if you're using an online printer, you'll want to download their spec sheet to find out their recommended settings. For example, your printer might say they want a PDF X1A. So whether it's a 1A, 3, or 4, all of these also maintain high resolution, embed subset of all fonts, and flatten transparency with a high resolution setting. So the only difference really between high quality, press quality, and PDF X1A is in the description here you can see that PDF X1A can be opened with Acrobat 4.0, whereas the others require Acrobat 5.0. So just check with your printer to find out which type of PDF they'll need before you hit export in InDesign. And remember, if you're not handing over your files to be professionally printed, you can always choose the smallest file size and then modify under the compression tab the resolution therein. The lowest screen resolution is 72 for old Macs. Most old PCs are 96, but the reason why most people want to do a setting between 100 and 150 ppi is because they'd like to accommodate for high definition or HD screens that are becoming more commonplace. Just remember, the higher the resolution, the longer it'll take to upload, to download, and to email. So once again, you'll want to check with the end user, whomever you're emailing your file to, to find out the maximum file size they can receive. You might need to upload it to an online repository like Dropbox and send them a link if their email client can't handle large file sizes. So that's how you can export all kinds of PDFs from Adobe InDesign. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, share it with your friends, and please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, for free marketing, branding, and design resources, head over to graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl, with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand.